Okay, so here we are, back for part B, and this is awesome. I just pretty much woke up from one of the most vivid lucid dreaming, or elongated lucid dreaming experiences I've had to date, and, okay, where do I start? Alright, um, so yeah, like, whereas before, in my, in, in my last post, right before this, in part A, I talked about how I had my, like, awareness within my dream, and then I sort of lost it really quick, whereas with this, I was able to keep it a lot longer, so I woke up sort of, like, or, I didn't wake up, but I sort of, like, became lucid when I was inside of my bedroom again, so then, when I was inside my bedroom, I was, like, practicing kind of going through walls, and I was, like, it's, like, all right, okay, I'm, I'm lucid, let's do this, so, you know, I started, like, sort of, like, jumping up and trying to, like, get out of my room, but, like, it wasn't working right away, because I was, like, I was, like, hitting the walls, and, and it, it was, it was really trippy, you know, like, I, I was, like, I had my door, like, right in front of me, and I'm, like, all right, let's do this, I just gotta walk through the door, but it's almost, like, I couldn't visualize, like, through the door, so it, it wasn't letting me go through it, in the same way, I couldn't, like, the only thing stopping me from going through the ceilings of my room was me, like, it was 100% me, so there's, like, just a little bit of doubt that was preventing me from actually getting through those walls, but eventually I was able to do it. So I was like, went through the walls of my room, and I was sort of messing around with low gravity and stuff. And uh, once I sort of got outside my room, my bedroom, like my the rest of my house, was not quite the same as what it actually is. And I was sort of, I was sort of jumping around from one thing to the next. Again, kind of low gravity style. Um, and then, um, yeah, and it was really, it was really cool. Um, like just super cool and, and I'm not trying to devalue the whole practice of lucid dreaming because I don't want to just do lucid dreaming for the sake of being for the sake of saying like oh this is cool you know like this that's why I'm doing this because it's cool like no like this is just the beginning and then once I get to the deeper stuff like it's going to be beyond cool it's going to be some like real enlightening stuff so to speak um so then what else did I do uh I got outside of my house and I was trying to fly, I was trying to practice flying, and I was having a little bit of trouble with it, I couldn't like literally just straight up fly, and again, like the only thing that was stopping me from flying around was like my own doubt of the fact that I could, but since I'm like new to this still, like I was, in, I was in, this whole city is new to this, like I'm, I'm really trying to figure it out, like out on the fly, so to speak, but I got creative, and I was like, all right, well, if I want to fly around, then maybe I should try using a jet, you know, so I, like, spawned a jet, so to speak, inside of the garage of my house, and then I, like, got inside the cockpit for the jet, and I, like, put down the canopy and stuff, and then I, like, pulled out the jet onto, like, the road in front of my house, and then I sort of, like, flew it a bit, like, on the road, and then I, like, lifted up off the road, and then I was, like, flying around, and then that was pretty cool, but like, so I was like actually like flying in this jet. So again, the reason why I was flying in the jet, like why that worked is because like the construct of my mind understands that jets fly around. So by like making that association, it was just easier for my mind to go with this whole idea that I was flying around in a jet opposed to just flying around without a jet. Like I, it was just like that kind of step in between. But eventually, no, I won't need a jet, but it was pretty cool flying a jet. Um, and then I didn't even really get too, too far, like, in in it. Like, eventually I was like, I was like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. And then as I sort of became, like, more um, enthralled by it, I actually began to, like, lose altitude. And then I was, I was like, oh, no, I'm losing altitude, I'm losing altitude. But, like, not, like, in a crashing sense, just sort of in a floating down sense. So, again, like, this is really interesting because it's it's being aware and it's focusing but you don't want to focus like so hard to the point where you're like because you, you, energy flows where your attention goes so if i'm thinking like all right i'm flying i'm flying i hope i don't stop flying i hope i don't start falling down to the ground the universe doesn't understand no so when i say i hope i don't or i hope i do not fall to the ground the universe is saying fall to the ground fall to the ground and then that's what happens so uh, again this is all stuff i'm still working on i'm still gonna be able to piece together and then um 
yeah and then that was that was kind of that was kind of it that was kind of like the majority of my experience i was like floating around a bit got through the walls in my room and stuff and then flew the jet so that was pretty cool and uh just another thing worth noting because they have to keep in mind like all the variables in in terms of like what's going to help create um more potential for lucid dreaming and uh just you know like it like basically what i'm trying to say is that the um the essence the one of the strongest spiritual essences within our body is like connected to sexual energy so if you um if if you like haven't had sex or anything in a while and you've like retained your seed so to speak and this goes for like both more so men um like in, in females i'm not entirely sure cuz like i you know i don't I, I i don't know personally through my own experience but i know as a male to like retain your seed so to speak like the elixir of life like you know the, the seminal fluid like that can be transmutated into other energies throughout the body be it like creative energies for like getting work done during the day or energies that are also going to translate into your ability to maintain awareness within the dream state so again excuse me for like sharing personal information but like it's it it's been a while for me and when i say a while i just mean like you know like five six days or whatever again sorry sorry for the, the personal information but my point is this is going to make a huge difference in your life if you are like a majority of the population who um spend their days uh watching like pornography on the internet as a habit and um and are not holding on to that seed that that elixir then you're going to have probably uh it's going to it's it may it may like it depends on individuals but it may be harder for you to uh to to get like the most out of these experiences uh, actually i would say i guarantee it like if you if you do hold on to it then you are going to have like more potential to to reach these states and and it's also going to affect your waking life too it's going to affect like your meditation states like and this goes back like this goes way back like gnosis like like ancient esoteric teachings like know all about this sort of stuff like they know how powerful the male like energy like the seminal fluid is in that sense like it is super super potent so again it's a toss-up you know like do you want like those like do you, like do you want that like orgasmic experience where it's like a short incredibly amazing sensation or do you want to put that off and not give into that like ego sensation so to speak and then focus more on your um on on your other parts of this experience in life such as like crazy astral projection techniques and everything so for me personally i think that is part of the reason why i was able to have success this morning uh with with my dreaming techniques uh and i've noticed this in in the past in my habit so that's something that i suggest you you keep in mind like absolutely seriously like keep that in mind if you're trying to like reach higher states of consciousness and stuff be aware of like your sexual habits and everything so that's really all i got to say so yeah um I'm going to I'm I'm going to, you know, go go about my day now. I'm not going to go back to sleep again. Like uh got to got to commit to doing what I got to do in the waking life. I can't just spend all day flying around in my dreams, but it's cool. Like I'm making progress, I guess to say the least. So I guess the big thing for me is just to have more experiences within this lucid state so I can familiarize myself with it so that I can go deeper into it. So Stay tuned for the continuing adventures of Skull Babylon as he travels through the astral dimensions and into his own mind and beyond. Ch -ch 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 -ch